the protocol for the establishment of the East African Monetary Union was signed by the EAC heads of state in 2013. It later came into force in 2014 in order to promote and maintain the monetary and financial stability to facilitate the financial integration of the community. The Monetary Union, which is the third pillar of the EAC integration, envisages an East African common currency and the deadline was set for 2024. However, there is a growing concern that this may not be attained in the remaining two years to facilitate trade in the region. We are supposed to be moving towards the monetary uh, union by 2024. That's the ambition. And we should be having a single currency. But that is not um, the priority as, as it is right now for council. And it's, it's embarrassing that we are in this situation. It's already 2022 and we are left with two years. Um, and we are not moving. As things stand now, it's becoming uh, almost impossible, or not, let me not use the word impossible, hugely, you know, largely falling behind schedule. And I just wanted to say that um, um, I am very concerned as a lawmaker here in the East African community that uh, council needs to move very fast. The ESC Audit Commission has revealed that four monetary union institution bills meant to facilitate the establishment of the monetary union are still pending. Two were assented to by the heads of state, while other bills are still before the sector council on legal and judicial affairs. They are the East African Monetary Institute, the East African Bureau of Statistics, the East African Financial Services Commission, and the East African Surveillance, Compliance, and Enforcement Commission. There is no way you restart a monetary union when there is, already, there is no legal framework to do that. But otherwise, we as an ESC parliament, we are ready, we are waiting for that. We have been waiting for other support legislations. For example, we have been waiting for the East African Surveillance and Compliance Bill, which is supposed to provide support legislation to the, to the two um, bills that the Assembly has passed. The regional lawmakers are concerned that the delay in enacting enabling laws is a major hindrance towards the operationalization of the Monetary Institute. A lot of discussions around where the East African Monetary Institute should be headquartered. And you know, it's taking a lot of uh, time of council instead of looking at how do we trigger. The ultimate goal is to establish an ESC single currency and an East African Central Bank. It's not the first time that the region is seeking to establish a common currency. This is just a, um, you know, bringing back to life of a policy that existed in the past. It is doable. We've got now the world is even more, more enlightened. We've got more capabilities now than we had in 1967, for example, between all our currencies. The Europeans did it and converged very many number of currencies into one, the euro. And it is doable here. Um, and our colleagues in the West Africa are actually doing great steps in that direction as well. We request the National Council of Ministers leader to perform, to perform the duties very quickly so that we integrate very fast because the time is not on our side. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.